happy Saturday. Today is Saturday the 13th of February. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Diane and this is Harry and we are part of UK Disney Vlog. Um, but yeah, today we have had a bit of... Whoa! Sorry, we're in the car, as you didn't know. Uh, Saturday the 13th of February, we've had a lion this morning, done a bit of exercise and we are going to go pick up Crazy Grandad, aren't we? Because yeah. we're going for a nice walk. Everyone's with us today. It's freezing. We've got hats, gloves, scarves, everything because it's so cold outside. Nice bit of fresh air will do us the world of good. So we'll take you along with us on our weekly vlog. So just going through Style Village now. It's a really, really cute village. I would love to live here. So it's National Trust property. There we go. Um, and you can actually still live in the old cottages that were built for the people that lived in the mill. So the old cottages are just over there. The pathways and stuff are shut off at the minute, obviously due to coronavirus. But the cottages were built for their employees many years ago, after the mill was built, and they are gorgeous now. I would definitely love to live there. And, interesting fact, one of these cottages over here was where Mr. Who lived? Tumble. Mr. Tumble lived from CBeebies. So yeah, he's had one of those cottages there. So it's such a lovely village. I love style. It's beautiful. So we're just going for a walk into the woods. Obviously, Crowbrook Mill itself is shut. But if anyone lives locally, you must really come here because it is absolutely beautiful. And the kids really enjoy it too. So these are the cottages. I managed to get a little bit closer and have a look. They're so cute. Obviously people do still live in them, so you've got to be a bit mindful of that. Obviously all closed off. Residents only. Um, and this here is what used to be their old shop where people used to get all their groceries from. It's kind of turned into a little bit of a museum, um, but obviously it's closed again also as well. So this is where you people used to do all the shopping. Bread. So cute. Bread, fake, daily. Yeah. Fancy and goods. Yeah. So. Coffee, teas. The um, workers in the National Trust property here were really well looked after. The uh, Greg family looked after them. So, just going to move out of the way because the car's coming through. But there's more cottages down this side and then down the other side as well. Clothes on here. Why would you put our clothes on there? Yeah. Why? Because you can. Okay. It, it can dry in the windy weather. Okay. Oh, it's going to dry today. It's absolutely freezing. I'm so cold. And there's a den I saw. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it, around here? Oh, it's so cold. What's that going? Uh, I've got a feeling this is going to go disastrously wrong. This is a giant pond. Can you get off it, please? It's cracking under your weight there, love. Hi, I'm not taking you home wet like that. Harry, stop jumping on it. Oh, now it's cracking. Yeah. Stop cracking! I'm going to keep filming so I'll get you falling in. It just takes one bit that's not as thick as the rest. Uh, excuse me. Uh. Anyone seen Harry anywhere? Oh! <laughs> It's like a pop up pirate. Hello. Hello, go on. I'm turning you to a tray. Harry! Harry! Hi. Hi. So cute. Cute little bridge. Nice little stepping stones. Oh, I am absolutely frozen. Well, it's my hands, it's my fingers again. My finger problem. 
It's all right, not too bad. It's just that wind is so bitter. I think it's like minus two with a wind chill of minus eight. So yeah, very, very cold, but very fresh and very lovely. We've got one over there, got David, crazy granddad, and Emily. Still on our walk, how pretty is this here? Nice. It's so beautiful down here. Yeah, it really, really beautiful setting, having a lovely walk. Warmed up a little bit now, the ground is frozen, but there are a set of steps a bit further back that had ice water on so it was like oh, ice on not ice water just ice icy mud it was a bit slippy but yeah lovely nice walk going back round and eventually we'll get to the airport but yeah good morning <laughs> Um, crazy granddad and the kids are dropped off and we are going um, to the shops we've had a bit of an incident with our cooker hob what are you laughing at? Sorry. what are you laughing? the incident yeah we had an incident with a cooker hob and a jar of Nutella so we've got a glass cooker hob um, the jar of Nutella fell on the glass cooker hob and we came to it and it was all shattered apparently the kids, neither of the kids did it Anyway, so we're going to have to go and replace it, otherwise we won't be having any dinner forever. Um, we have cooked off camping stoves before in the past when it needed replacing, um, and it took us a while to get a new hob, so that was a, an interesting week of cook, cooking. <laughs> cooking on gas, shall we say. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like a joke. It's like what I did there uh, in the kitchen um, on these camping stoves. I'm not doing that again. Luckily, curries um, have got one in stock so we're going to go and collect that now and go to Aldi at the same time just listening to Radio 2 loving the tunes total throwback here and um, I feel like we feel a bit old now don't we normally Saturday afternoons we're listening to Radio 2 with our parents now we're the parents and loving Radio 2 um, so yeah Curry's PC World Aldi there's also a Marks and Spencer's food there as well <gasps> Celine Dion, let's just come on. I'm gonna go and listen to this. David's gutted. See you in a bit. Currently doing a bit of shopping in Lidl and I've found this. Obviously perfect for me. I'm trying to debate whether I get the 35 plus or the 45 plus and I also need some eye cream too. Or the 55. I am not 55. Smell this. Got a mask on, that's all right. For mature skin. Should we go with that one? Something really strange is going on. We're still out shopping and the queue for everywhere has been like this. The, I, I have not seen this queue like ever. Not even at Christmas is the queue to try and get into Asda this bad. Even when we just went to the, like a, what you call it, a retail park. That's the one I'm looking for. It's got a Curry's, PC World. Um, obviously those shops aren't open but the ones that were open were Aldi, M&S Food and Home Bargains. The queue for Home Bargains was around the corner. I just don't understand. Everyone seems to be going crazy and out shopping. I know we're out too, but I mean, I just don't understand it. We're in the middle of a global pandemic and we're all out shopping. Is that because there's no absolutely nothing else to do? Yeah, really not sure what is going on. I'm gonna get some petrol. That's all we want. We want to go to Costco and get some petrol. Let's see what happens, eh? Four sugars, but felt silly. You want four sugars in your coffee? That's why I said three. You recorded me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just having a cheeky Starbucks. Shh, don't tell the kids. They never watched the vlog anyway. And we've ordered a, um, what else? Shortbread. A shortbread as well. Yeah, don't tell them. Like what they don't watch. They're like evil with a red face. Yeah, we do a bit. 
so we figured out what the queue was. The massive queue over there that we couldn't get into Costco for, not Costa, was Krispy Kreme. Who knew donuts were so popular? Um, probably the influence of Mr. David and Mr. Ian from their vlog today, their Valentine's special. You know, they're hashtag influencers these days. <laughs> so I've got an Americano because they don't sell filter coffee past 2 p.m. at the minute. I suppose that fair enough. They don't want to put an extra pot of coffee on and they're closing soon. And we've ordered a bit of shortbread as well. I'm cold. This will warm me up nicely. Then we'll go home to the kids. Just leaving the traffic centre and the big sign says, stay home, save lives. I've not been even been out of the car just yet. Just now. I'm trying to justify it, it's not. No, some nice chocolate chunk shortbread. I gave him the bigger piece. It was a triangle, couldn't break it up properly. That's true, love that. That's proper Valentine's for you right there. Giving you the biggest piece of chocolate shortbread. Mm. Not worth it. This is really good. I need to eat it before we get home though. Probably will really be. Yeah, this is really good. So, this is great entertainment. Sitting watching me and David eat shortbreads. And drink coffee. Oh, that's lovely. Cheers! Back from the shops now. As predicted, the kids were not happy that we had a Starbucks. They don't know about the cookie. Now we're just going to try and fix the hob. Um, let me show you the incident. So I'm not sure if it'll pick it up very well, but basically it's got a giant crack in it all the way down here and it's smashed to here. It's just a mess. Goes right through the Oh god, I've got glass in my finger. It goes right through the on switch. Oh, it's just... Yeah. It switches on, but whether we should switch it on is a different matter. So we've bought a new one. I'm gonna have to take it out, clean it, and then put the new one back in. Um, we have got kind of cameras in our kitchen, just on the Google Home Hub. And um, yeah, we saw Emily do it, but she didn't even notice she'd done it. The jar fell out of the cupboard. She didn't even look where it hit or where it fell. Just picked it up off the floor. So yes, yeah, she didn't know she'd done it, but she did it anyway. <laughs> that makes any sense, bless her. But let's get on and do that. And then we're gonna think about dinner. I think we're, we're thinking takeaway again. And um, what else can we do? Apart from we should just cook, shouldn't we? But we didn't think of anything. And even though I've been to the shops, we couldn't think of anything to eat. That pizza sounds good to me. It is many, many hours later. Oh my god, I'm exhausted. I don't know why. I think I've, I've been out all day. I'm totally exhausted. I've had some lovely pizzas, had a couple of glasses of vino, just watching Saturday night discussions. It was the Valentine's Day special. We're very rock and roll, David and I. We're about to have a cup of decaffeinated tea. <laughs> That's how we roll. It's about half nine, um, tired. I'm gonna have the tea so it doesn't stop me sleeping. And then we're gonna go to bed. Got a nice new shiny hob. All is good. Might have a biscuit or two. Why not? Um, and tomorrow is another day, obviously. Gonna go for a run. Not really doing a lot. Um, I think I've got lots of jobs to do. I think we might be having an afternoon tea. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow. We don't really celebrate, but David and I were supposed to be going for our afternoon tea that was rebooked from Christmas. Um, we've got a group on at Christmas, and I saw Vlogmas. We ended up doing an afternoon tea at home. So I thought, why not do the same again now? So I will see you in the morning. Night. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Today is Valentine's Day. Yeah. No flowers around here, but that's fine. We don't really celebrate Valentine's Day. We never have and probably never will. I think the day you start celebrating Valentine's Day or the day I think you're having an affair. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> I love the backseat comments. I think, you, I think you need to start being on the vlog a little bit more rather than the backseat comments from the living room. Been for a run this morning, as you can see already, having my breakfast, nice cup of Dunkin' Donuts coffee, 
having a bagel. Been watching Cheers Ears this morning and The Stranger Couple. Yeah, some great vlogs this morning. Plans for today. We're gonna get in the garden and do some jobs. I want to show you something that I, some things that I got last week. Um, that I tried to show you on last week's vlog. The file corrupted. I'm gonna try again and show you what I got. Yeah, last week. Get in the garden. Do some jobs. It's cold. It's blustery. But before the rain starts coming, David, his best Valentine's gift to me, if he's listening, would be to wash my car. That would be a perfect Valentine's gift for me. Um, tidy up, do some rubbish jobs. I'll take you with us though, how exciting. But you can't wait. We are gonna have a bit of an afternoon tea as well. So we'll show you that. Um, and then probably a gusto meal for dinner. And then Sunday's done. I am supposed to be on holiday all week from work, but I can't remember if I've told you already. My boss asked me to work tomorrow. So that is what I'm doing. Um, I think too many of us had annual leave booked because I came from a different tr I came from a different hospital. My leave was already booked and joined the new team. So um, too many of us had holiday. She said, "Well, you're going to have to cancel everyone's holiday, or if you all just work one day, then we can all keep the rest of it." So that's what we've done. I'm working tomorrow, and then I'm not quite sure about the rest of the week. So going for a bath, nice relaxing bubble bath. Watch a few more vlogs. Finish my coffee have some breakfast, and then see what we can get done in a day. See you in a bit. What are you doing? Watching the car. This is the current situation. Poor Harry and David are outside, in the cold, washing the car. Doing a good job. Oh, nice and cold. Right, I'm going, it's cold outside. Why? Why? It's absolutely freezing out there, the wind is Bitter. It says four degrees, but it's much colder. I really feel for them. I'm doing jobs inside though, so I'm not quite sure which is worse. Probably them. Absolutely them. It's so cold. Just quickly nipping to Tesco's just to pick up some crisps and some milk. Um, Harry's come inside because he is far too cold. David is just cleaning his car. I'll show you my gorgeous mint shiny mini in a minute. But this is the current situation. Chaos, clutter everywhere so the scones have been prepped sausage rolls are in the oven i'm gonna bake these when i get home i have some delicious lunch yeah this is up because i'm freezing I'm just gonna head out and i will see you in a minute so let me first show you my gorgeous shiny car how pretty and shiny are we now not a bit of salt anywhere Gorgeous. Look, reflections. Afternoon tea time. Some Victoria sponge, some lovely crisps, some nice cheese baguettes and sausage rolls. We are still missing the scones. They're not quite ready yet. Pink lemonade and some nice pink fizz and a cup of tea. Cheers, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Cheers. Mm. About you? Mm -hmm. Just cheers. Dunk. Dunk. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's nice. Yummy beige food. Forget sausage roll and crisps. Scones are finally out of the oven. We've got two plain ones and two cherry ones. And look, I tried to make them like a heart. Well, I tried. These two just still smudged. But we've got some jam and obviously clotted cream. Oh, and the remote, because we're watching One Division. All completely full and sleepy now. Need a log fire and a sofa with a blanket and a movie that's kind of what we need right now delicious scones were amazing cream them jam we're not getting into this again oh yeah it was really nice just need to clear up now more jobs what else is there to do in lockdown but eat and do jobs and do little, lots of stuff like that i think most of us are doing just that really i think aren't we pottering around the house eating 
all the food and doing all the jobs. I think the DIY industry must be having the most the biggest boom ever because that's what everyone's spending. The, blah, 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 blah. I've only had one glass of fizz, spending all the money on. We're currently trying to look at August and have a backup plan because obviously we're supposed to be going to Orlando and we're having, trying to think of a backup plan of somewhere else to go in the UK. So we've been on Airbnb, checked their cancellation policy and we actually booked somewhere this morning because apparently the cancellation policy when we looked last night was you can cancel two weeks up beforehand and then you can get all the money back. Um, so we thought that's plenty of time to be able to cancel. Booked somewhere, paid the deposit and then when David got the confirmation through it said you can only cancel within 48 hours to get all your money back. Anything after that you only get 50% of your money back. So it was an £800 deposit, so we would have lost £400 if we had to cancel closer to the date. So we've cancelled it straight off the back, and then we're going to see where we go from there. Um, really keen to go to Cornwall. Um, never been before. Been to Devon. Just fancy all the beaches. I think it would do Emily and Harry the world of good. Emily is quite keen to go like surfing and bodyboarding. She wants a wetsuit, open water swimming. She just loved it when we went to Pembrokeshire last year. So that is what we were hoping to do, but we're just trying to need to find somewhere now. It's all a bit up in the air. We want to both holidays, really. We want to go to Cornwall and this really, we found a really gorgeous cottage. A little bit pricier than I anticipated, but that's fine. Um, but we also want to go to Florida as well. So need to look. After last year though, I'm not going camping again. I just can't face it. The last two summers we've been camping has been torrential rain. And if we had a cottage, at least we know we can keep warm in the storm and dry, whereas I've had two storms now in the summer and I'm not doing it again. Even though the kids are desperate to go camping, it's not on my agenda right now to go out and buy a tent. I would rather spend a night in a hotel. So come on, David, let's crack on. He's just waiting for me, really. I need to go and tackle the garage and I want to show you what I purchased. So I'm going to take you outside. I'll see you in a minute. Oh my goodness, what do you look like? It seems a bit funny, let me try and clean. <laughs> what earth do you look like? Waiting for summer. <laughs> You'll be waiting a while. David is just demonstrating our purchase. So we bought this table and these wooden chairs. <laughs> it's so cold out here. And we've got these wooden chairs. So this is the original wood finish and the family we bought it off has painted this. So we hope to sand it. Um, and then we bought, got these chairs for free. So we've got three of these chairs. This is the broken one. So we're either gonna try and fix it or get rid of that. But I only really want two. And it came with a table. So the wicker stuff I got free um, off Facebook Marketplace. And the table and chairs, so there's four wooden chairs and a table. They're only 15 pounds, 15 quid, 25. I don't know, I can't remember, David paid. I can't remember. So I've got all these off Facebook Marketplace, but I'm really excited. I'm gonna go sand these down. Good afternoon. And then either sand them down, paint them in a nice varnish color, and bring it back to restore them naturally or paint them. And then the wicker chairs, we're hoping to jet wash all the paint off clean them down and then spray paint them so perfect for summer but we just need to sort the rest of the garden out as well but today is not the day yeah the garden is looking very sad and sorry for itself i'm gonna go inside because it's starting to rain again <laughs> bring on spring and summer it's now the evening. We've had a couple of hours just sat in front of the telly. Harry and I played a game of Mousetrap with Emily and then we had a couple of games of Uno. Yeah, I quite really like Uno. It's a really simple card game. I think I've said it before that we can all play. Now it's like a restaurant in here right now. There's lots of cooking going on, making out the last of our gusto recipes. David is currently making chicken. So we've got oven baked Normandy chicken and apple casserole. So that's what's going on in there. The children are having, turned in the hole, 
but I also need to make my prawn dish as well because the prawns are used by today so I need to also make a baked spicy prawn arrabbiata sorry if any Italians are watching and my pronunciation um, so I'm going to cook that as well but I need the casserole pot so I can't cook that until we have had dinner <laughs> Um, I'm going to make this pasta dish, um, take one to work, and then freeze the other portion. These are the last of our gusto recipes. We've got one more to make, which is a chicken dish, which uh, we're going to have tomorrow. And I haven't got any more coming from now on. Um, whether I re-sign up again to that one or HelloFresh, the jury's out. I do like the gusto meals. Some of them, a couple of them have a bit, been a bit bland, but some of them have been lovely. They seem a little bit more complex than the HelloFresh ones. What do you think? Same. About the same. I don't make them, so I can't really comment 100%, but I think they look more complicated than the other ones. The recipe cards are never very simple to follow. They're just not as simple as they should be, are they? No. No, no prep on them. The prep, like, they just don't make any sense. They should just get everything prepped, then start making it, but it does it all in very strange, random orders. Looking forward to this one. It's really quite unusual. It's like got baked bread in it or not i'm not sure i've not read that far ahead there's bread just for the side i'm not quite sure it looks like there's baked bread bread in it but i don't think there is actually picture is a little bit deceiving i'm so really looking forward to this one toad in the hole look at that eat your heart out it looks incredible and this is the finished chicken it looks and smells amazing don't quite get the bread bun. I feel like it needs some, oh, thanks for the garnish. I feel like it needs some potato. It just feels a bit weird. But anyway, gonna go and eat this and enjoy it. Dinner was really nice. Um, I don't quite get the bread concept. I think the sauce is supposed to be a little bit runnier, I suppose, and it's supposed to be a dunking thing. I would think I'd rather have it with something like new potatoes, maybe. Uh, cheap batter bread, it's just, was just okay it was like kind of a bake your own one that you popped in the oven to warm up um but it was really tasty david, even david enjoyed it he said he'd probably make it slightly different if he made it himself sort of brown the onions chop them a bit smaller that type of thing but it was over the apple and the chicken go really well together um we're just making the next one so the pasta dish um pasta and prawn dish is now currently in the oven um pasta's in we'll add the prawns in a bit and then the rest of it and that's going to be for my dinner tomorrow and then something to put in the freezer as well so that's going to be it for this vlog thank you very much for watching um only a short one this weekend only two a proper weekend vlog like everybody else has been doing just two days this week is a bit of a mismatch for me and work um you don't need to be filming it all week so i might do some filming towards the end of the week because it is my birthday coming up after all i will be turning 40 very soon as many of you will know on all my socials and on here i have mentioned it many a time big mile event for me also speaking of big milestones we got to a thousand subscribers oh my god i can't believe it thank you thank you so much to everybody that has been watching subscribing liking following on all the socials commenting down below it means the absolute world to me i genuinely genuinely can't thank you all enough i never thought that i would get that far or we would get that far as a family when i started all those years ago two and a half three years ago i can't remember um i never ever dreamed that i'd get this far getting to 100 was incredible but getting to a thousand it just means the world um yeah genuinely genuinely touched i feel like i'm hope hopefully feel like i'm improving and getting better i can't wait to do another trip now because i feel a lot more confident in front of the camera i feel like i'm definitely more chatty than i was on my last florida trip and previous trips i've done before um i can't wait to get back out there and and, and start filming some trips again so thank you to everybody again Thank you to those that have been watching the weekly vlogs as well. That also means the world to me. This is, if you, even if you don't, it's a great boost in my confidence just to go behind the camera and see what I can do really. Um, and if you've made it to the end of all this waffle, thank you again. So don't forget to give us a big thumbs up, leave those comments down below. And if you don't already, please subscribe 
and I'll see you again at the end of the week when it's the start of the birthday celebrations. Catch you later.